you have came so far from that tiny moment that you felt like could crumble your entire human body, mind, and soul, and you thought it would be the end of the world for you, you are finally able to see the lessons that you have learned from it. Hello, you incredible human being. I am so happy that you clicked on this video and that you are going to learn how to deal with your failures. Failure is something that, oh my gosh, when you think of that word, you feel your thoughts in everything and you're like, I don't even want to think about the word failure because it brings back so much past. Trust me, I am somebody that has failed many, many times, but I've picked myself back up and have gone through other things in order to get over it. Let's go ahead and hop straight into this video and start with the first thing that I learned in order to help with failure, and that is to understand that you can't change your past. I know, I know, this is something that is so hard to get through your mind, but you may be thinking right now, I could have done this, I should have done this. If I did this, then this would have happened. The reality of it is that you can't change it. You can't hop into a time machine, unfortunately. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? And go back and change your actions and do something so you wouldn't have failed. It is so, so easy to get into the mindset that you could have fixed all these different things in order to gain success or in order to accomplish a goal that you thought you would have. But honestly, I, I get being in that mindset because you want to believe that you could have done something and changed the outcome. I mean, we all think that way at first, but when you combine being able to take responsibility and being able to gain the mindset that the past has already happened and you cannot change it, you will be able to move forward and I swear it will be much more beneficial to you and so much healthier to you if you are able to use those two little tools in order to finally understand your failure. Again, <laughs> saying all these things are so much easier than actually doing it. I have a bunch of different videos that pertain to loving yourself and being confident and that also has to deal with learning about changing your mindset on your control of the past and accepting responsibility. If you're at this point, go ahead and feel free to try to dive in some of those videos because they will help you gain that little bit of self-confidence that you need in order to understand and take responsibility for your failures. But moving on, once you are able to get in the mindset that you couldn't change your past, no matter what you do, you can't, you can't change it, you can't hop in a time machine, you can't do any of it because the past is the past and time continues to go on. Once you finally figure that out, then you are able to accept your failure. And this is a moment where all these feelings of self-doubt start to rise because yes, you accepted that in the past is in the past. You accept the failure in itself, but now it becomes, but what if it happens again? Is it something within myself? Did I do something wrong? Am I not going to accomplish anything in my life? All these things will begin to surface when you are going through acceptance of your failure. And again, all of these things that I'm talking about could be done in one day. It could be done in two months. It could be done in five months. It could be done in a year. There is no time span on how long it will take you to accomplish all these things and fully go through a failure process and turn it into something successful. But yes, while you're in this moment of accepting your failure, self-doubt will arise and there isn't much you can do about it except work on yourself. And a lot of the time I will recommend to people or even just to myself because when I ask for advice, I write it down for myself and give myself advice. In this moment, it is time to work on yourself. It is time to try to improve yourself. It's time to find out who you really are without your failure and without that in mind. Again, I suggest journaling. I suggest affirmations. I suggest meditating. I suggest doing yoga. Anything where you are able to be present and be with yourself because a lot of the time when we think about failures and self-doubt, we need to do a lot 
of inner work. And the most important thing is to accept and learn about yourself because of your quote unquote failure. But it's also to realize that your failure does not define the human being that you are. You are much more than that failed thing that happened. You are much more than that unaccomplished goal. You are so much more than that one tiny thing. You are so much more than that. And again, a lot of this is inner work in this time frame, and you are going to come out an incredible person, which then leads to learning all of the lessons that your failure gave you. I mean, at this point, you have realized that the past is in the past, you have accepted it, you've done self-work, and you are finally able to see that there are so many lessons you learned because of your failure. And I always say this, I say this to myself, that when something does not work out, it just means that there is something else out there. There is no need to dwell on the failure at this point because you have learned so much, you have came so far from that tiny moment that you felt like could crumble your entire human body, mind, and soul, and you thought it would be the end of the world for you, you are finally able to see the lessons that you have learned from it. And that is one of the most important takeaways. If you take away anything from this video is that through failure, you are going to learn so much. You are going to understand your flaws, your imperfections, but you're also going to understand how incredible of a person you are because of it. And it's nothing to be ashamed to have failure in your life because there are millions and millions of other people every day that have probably just had failure occur. You are not alone when it comes to failure. And the last and final thing when it comes to learning how to accept failure and how to improve yourself is learning how to gain confidence out of all of this. I mean, you have gone through the entire process and now you are going to be able to come out a person that is willing to go above and beyond and push the limits even if they fail or not. At least for me, when I fail, it just shows me how strong I have to become afterwards. And finally, once you reach this point, you can learn to be more of a confident person. And yes, Confident as a whole is another thing, but you've gone through failure. You have pushed your limits. You have learned so much through this, and now you get to be more confident because of it. This time around, when you fail at something, you are not going to give up. You are not going to doubt yourself. You are going to become a person that is confident and knows where their head is at and understands that even if they fail, they are going to get back up and keep pushing forward because nothing will stop you. Failure is something we all hate and wish we did not have to go through. Failure is something that you wish people did not bring up. But now, when people talk about your failures, you no longer have to feel this deep weight inside your soul holding you back and keeping you from doubting yourself, from not gaining confidence, from all of these things that are stopping you from going above and beyond for yourself. Now, you can look at your failures, you can allow people to talk about your failures and you will not have it define the person you are. I think if none of us failed in life, we would not get anywhere far. Without failure, you don't have success. Without failure, you do not have a wholesome human being. I mean, there are so many people out there, CEOs, YouTubers, influencers, teachers, professors. I mean, anybody out there has failed along the way. And learning to accept it, grow past it, and become more because of it is the entire reason failures exist. I hope you can take away a little bit from this video. I hope you can learn that failure is an okay thing and that you may be going through such a rough patch right now, but things will be better. Things will be incredible for you. And I want you to never forget that you are an incredible human being and you deserve to feel confident within yourself, to love yourself and want yourself to grow. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment. Let me know what failure has done to you, what you've learned through your failures. And I will put a little comment down below 
on what I have learned through my own failures too. So you don't feel so alone commenting down there. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for a journaling session on Thursday. I love you so much.